In this video, you will learn to add tabs above table in the filament to filter data. It is easy and simple. As you can see on your screen, we have tabs above this table and let's try to filter the data. Let's select a tab. Let me click on finance. Now we have data filtered as per finance department. Let's try to change it to sales. Now data is filtered as per the sales department. This way we can filter the data and when we will click all departments, whole data will be shown. You can see there are various departments, sales, finance, marketing, HR operations. So it is very easy and simple to add these tabs at top of the table in the resource. So let's start. So we have a filament project opened in the browser and it is a user resource. You can see the table. We have data of users and in this table we have a department column and department name is mentioned in each row with respect to each user. You can see right on your screen and we have various departments like sales department, finance, marketing, HR, operations. Now let's add tabs above this table to filter out the data in the table as per department that we will select. So let's start. Uh, let's open the code editor. Open the app folder, then filament folder, and inside the filament folder, let's open resources folder. And inside the resources folder, you will see we have user resource file as well as user resource directory. But we have to open this directory or folder, you can say. Let's open this user resource folder. Here you will see we have another directory that is pages. Inside the, inside the pages, we have list users. Let's open list users.php. Anywhere inside this list users class, uh, we can uh, write the method that is get tabs method. So it is public function. Public function get tabs. Here it is. Now, also let me show you how you can find this get tabs method. Let's delete this and find it in another way. You can write it directly as well as I have written, but uh, there is a way to find it. So uh, let me try the another way. Let's delete this. Let's enter to list records class. Control and click on this class name. Now we are inside list records class. You can see. And here inside list records, we have a trait has tabs. So let's enter into has tabs again, control and click. Now I am inside this has tabs trait. Here you can find all the methods. There you can see we have get tabs method. Let me copy this. Let's keep this tab as open. Uh, let me go to the list users. And here just paste it. Now we have this function get tabs. Actually, we are overriding this method. This method is already there in the trait, but by writing it again and putting our code here, we are overriding this method. So let's add tabs. Our first tab will be all without any filtration. Tab class. Make sure you are using this filament resources components. Make that's all because we don't need to filter any data when we will select this all and now we have to add the department name let's say finance again tab make here we have a method modify query using this modify query using which will accept closure And here we will have a builder class. Make sure you are importing right class. It is from Illuminate Database Eloquent. And we will have this query object. Let's add where clause. Where department. Finance.
it is the first tab it is the second tab let's add other departments as well let's copy and paste this we have another department as marketing let's write it here as well and we have another department as sales let's write here and here as well and we have another department as hr so we have added our tabs let me check the browser let's refresh the page you can see now we have tabs at the top of the table by default this all tab is selected and we have users with all the departments mentioned right here in this department column now let's try to filter out the data let me click on this finance as i have clicked on finance you can see now we have a users for this finance department only data is filtered as per this finance query you can see let me go to the page 2 as well you can see the finance is here and we have total 17 results for this finance okay let's go back to the first page let me click on marketing now we have data of users who belongs to this marketing department we have 19 results let's click on sales as well now data is filtered as per sales department we have 27 results we have a huge sales team let's click on this hr and we have team of 21 people who are in hr department so that's a huge team as well also you can change the label of these tabs you can see hr is h letter is capital but r is in small case here hr is all capital again you will see i am writing all lower case here to filter the records here as well let me show you the table first because the data in the database is all lower case you can see we have this departments column sales finance marketing hr operations all lower case we have operations department as well let me add it here operations let's refresh it now we have another tab with the operations click on operations so this is the operations team now we have a data filtered as per the operations department let's try to change the label of these tabs uh, for all let's make it as all departments for finance we can name it as finance and accounts it's your choice only it is the label actually you can see a label is written over here now so we can pass out the label name directly in the make now our name is changed all departments let me refresh it we have changed this finance and accounts as well now you can see the labels have been changed for these two tabs now we have all departments in the place of all and we have finance and accounts in the place of finance it's your choice only let's delete accounts we will keep only finance and for hr let's keep h and r both as capital hr let me save the file now after the page refresh you can see now the tab is hr all in upper case in the database again i am repeating in the database we are saving these in lower case and also in table let me show you the table we are making this upper case here in the table you can see for the department we are making hr as capital hr and we are making first letter as capital for other departments in this way you can modify the labels of the tabs 
Now let me click again on users menu. Here you can see by default the first tab is selected all departments. What if we want to make this as a default selected tab sales? How we can do that? Again, let's check this has tab straight. Let me click on has tabs. Here you will find a method public function get default active tab. Let me copy this. Let's paste it here. Let's delete this. Its return type is either string or integer or null. So we have these names as string. So we want this as a default tab. Let me copy sales and paste it here. You can write it manually as well. Let's make the sales tab as default active tab. Let's refresh the page. And now sales tab is automatically selected and it is the default tab. Let me again click on the users to show you. Now page is reloaded. You can see sales tab is the default tab and data is filtered as per our selection of sales tab. Now here you can switch and filter the data as per your requirement. Let me click on all departments. Here we have the mixed data without any filtration. Let me again click on users. Now you can see sales is highlighted. This tab is selected and data is already filtered. Let's check on the dark mode. It is looking good in the dark mode as well. You can also add icons in these tabs. Let's try one. Let's add icon to the first tab. We have icon method and here you have to type the hero icon name. Hero icon. Let me add this icon. Refresh the page. Here you can see now we have the icon. Also you can change the position of this icon. You can have this icon after the name. We have another method for that icon position. Icon position. Just write icon position. And we have this icon position after. Save the file and refresh the page. Now the icon is after the name of the tab. You can add icons to other tabs as well. Let me delete the icon. Also you can add badge to the tabs. Let's add badge. Let's add it to the sales. You can add it to any tab. The process is same. To add the badge we have a badge method. And it will accept closure. And user model. Query where department is sales count. Save the file and refresh the page. Now you can see we have 27 rows filtered as per sales department. Also in the bottom you can see we have 27 results. You can change this badge color as well. Let me try to switch on uh, light mode. Let's change this badge color after this badge method. Let's write badge color this badge color and let's write success or a green color your color is green but it is not visible let me try the dark mode here you can see it is a light green color if it is not visible let me make it danger to make it red 
let's refresh the page you can see now we have red color badge it is visible now here it is so let's remove this badge save the file in this way you can add tabs at the top of the table to filter the data in the table so it is simple and easy we need to implement only one method that is get tabs method only subscribe the channel for more interesting videos thanks for watching